That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's. Oh. I think the flow is actually worse now. So, what's this first job all about? It's a boiler, intermittent hot water. We don't know the age. We you don't know, know anything? Mm, nope. So you're going in blind. Yep. Do you usually go in blind with these type of calls, or is this very it's rare? A call like this, yeah, it's usually. Yeah, we'll um, see what's going on. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Might stump me. Nah, nothing stumps Derek the plumber. No. We're getting very little hot water right now. Okay. When we do, it's for maybe a minute or two. It doesn't get very hot. It just gets kind of tolerable. Okay. But it's continued pretty, pretty consistently. Okay. And it's gotten worse and worse. So. All right. Let's take a look and see what's going on. What are you? Uh, what's your number one suspect for it so far? Yeah, that's what I was. Just I think ask. the uh, mixing valve, to be honest. So the mixing valve limits the temperature of the water. So boiler fires up between 160, 180 degrees, which is way too hot for the rest of the house or for your, sorry, for your domestic water. So the coil adds cold water to the hot water, mixes it, sends it out, so that this way it drops it down to a safer 120 um, gotcha. temperature. What I noticed, like we're seeing the temperature cool down, mm -hmm. and I'm down now 111 now, and the boiler's still over 175. Mixing valve doesn't seem like it's working properly. Ooh, that's a ProPress one. Ooh. You have pro press? Don't need it. Where's that? We're just swapping the same model, same unions that are on there. So literally we shut it down, swap it, put the new one in. Bada bing, bada boom. We may have to go get a bigger wrench. We got the, I think you're gonna come out. And then we got the persuader. Why does it look like that though? It's just a lot yeah. more like hooked. It's just, yeah, so it's flat jawed instead of the other one that has teeth on it, but it's an offset. So it gives you a different leverage point. Yeah, persuade that sucker. Okay. I can't get a great grip on them, so it's starting to kind of like round. Yeah. And I don't want to break the pipe. There's just muscle melt. <laughs> Do you think muscle melt? Nope. More of a crystallite, I see, kind of guy. <laughs> I got two pitchers at home. The persuader, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's like nothing. You know what they call that? What? That one's rigid for the win. Oh, yeah, they. Yeah, it's just uh, going to help the nut turn a little bit. I know you usually put tape too. No, not on these. Different thread. What, what does it mean like cause? Leaks. You can break stuff. They break the, you know, the um, brass nut because now there's too much in there. This I'm just putting on just so it helps kind of lubricate as I tighten down, that it doesn't uh, seize up on me. Cold side's flowing better than the hot. There's too much cold water flow. This has bad flow coming out. This has great flow. It's actually pushing back more water down this side and adding it faster than the hot water. Like I'm open all the way right now, so that should be set for 145. Yeah. I got 125. Oh. But that's not something that you want to have it set for. I think I gotta add a valve here so we can just Throttle it down for the time being. So I added a valve in so I can kind of throttle it down so it is working, it's not good. This right here is our hot water coming out of the coil. If we open this up, it's pretty weak. If I switch the hose to the other side, it's got great pressure. But realistically what needs to happen is the coil should be cleaned matter of hooking up a pump, flushing it through there, and getting that stuff out of there. The boiler itself is at 170. Just taking so long to flow through that it's... It seems like we have no yeah. hot water yeah. would be too. Yep. It's just bad flow. So let me get you a price on the coil flush, and then we can get that going. We're going uh, to the supply house to get some sizzle. What is sizzle? Sizzle is an acid. It's going to allow us to flush out the coil on okay. the boiler. Yeah. 
How's it going? How are you going? Not bad. I'm looking for some sizzle. Okay, do a sizzle. Yes. Oh, fall. Yeah. I'm getting <laughs> close <laughs> to you. <laughs> you know where you're going? McDonald's. Oh, you're getting lunch now? No. no. We're turning here. <laughs> are you going past that? I think this guy's just turning McDonald's. Is he? No, it's a red light anyways. It don't matter. Backseat driver back there. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. So what exactly is happening? Or what's gonna happen? Yeah, I'm gonna pour in some solution in here. We're gonna add some water to it. It's gonna pump it through, and we're gonna circulate it through for like a half hour or so. And then flush it out. And then it should loosen up. Should. Got it. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's... Oh. I think the flow is actually worse now. A lot of junk, that's what it's looking like. No need to be nervous. That is from the hot side. Nice. Start flushing. Yeah. We'll get her running again. I like it. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Why do you guys sound like you doubted me? You guys are mean. Oh, boo hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. What do you got, George? Oh, you tell me. What do you got? What did we so, do? So, what did we do? It was a long one. Um, oh, we were expecting it. Yeah. yeah, very. So they had an issue with hot water, sporadic. The mixing valve on the boiler was bad. Stuck, wouldn't turn. Stuff was jammed inside of it. And then we also found that the coil itself had bad flow, meaning there was good flow on the cold water side coming into the coil and out of the coil to the hot side, very little. We replaced the mixing valve, did an acid flush on the coil to restore flow, get everything back up and working, got them back up to temperature. So now they can properly use it. Nice. What do you think? That's good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. We did it! <laughs> Jerks. Can you hear me a paper towel? Sure. George tries to film it and get it at the same time. Yeah, I do what I gotta do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Man, there's gonna be a lot of editing on that video. Thanks. That only took six tries. <laughs>